hello to all today we are discussing some mcqs which are based on the plant physiology and the questions are based on the osmotic pressure the diffusion pressure deficit water potential etc okay the very first question is that if osmotic potential of a cell is minus 10 bar now what is osmotic potential you must know osmotic potential is psi s okay and psi s given to us is minus 10 bar okay and its pressure potential is 5 bars okay pressure potential means what psi p okay so the pressure potential is psi p and psi p is 5 bar okay then its water potential would be we know very well the formula for the water potential is the formula for the water potential is psi w is equal to psi s plus psi p now substitute the value psi s given is minus 10 plus psi p given is 5 so 10 minus 5 5 but the bigger figure is having the negative sign so we will be imposing the negative sign so the water potential will be psi w is equal to minus 5 bar now we have to see that this minus 5 bar is given in the option or not see here in the first option only it is given minus 5 bar so the correct answer of the question number 1 is minus 5 bars so i am writing the answer key here the question number 1 is having the key 1 okay the answer is 1 now the second question is if molar concentration this is the solution of the question number 1 now the solution of the question number 2 now the question is that if the molar concentration of the given sugar solution is 0.3 m molar concentration now the molar concentration is given to you and that is known as a 0.3 0.3 m okay now find out the osmotic pressure of the solution we have to find out the osmotic pressure we have to find out the molar concentration is given and we have to find out the osmotic pressure of the solution we know to to know the osmotic pressure we have a method and that is known as we use the von tropp formula and op is equal to mrt we know very well op is equal to mrt now where m is molar concentration m is molar concentration okay then r is gas constant r is gas constant r is gas constant okay and t is the absolute temperature and it is 273 it is 273 so substitute the values now m is given here m is what 0.3 so 0.3 is given we have to calculate the op we know very well op is equal to mrt okay so op is equal to 0.3 now what is the value of gas constant so the value of the gas constant is 0.082 substitute here so op is equal to mrt m is 0.3 so r is 0.082 into temperature that is absolute temperature 273 when you will be multiplying you will be getting something around 6.72 okay so the answer is 6.72 atm when you will be multiplying all these three values you will be getting 6.72 atm so you can see that in the question 2 the first option is given here 6.72 atm so the answer of the question number 2 is 6.72 so i am writing the key here question number 2 is having the answer 1 okay now the question number 3 okay this is the solution of the question number 2 now question number 3 in a fully turgid cell the values of dpd op and tpr so always remember that in a turgid cell always remember that in a turgid cell op is equal to tp op is equal to tp and we know that in a turgid cell dpd is op minus tp so we know that in a turgid cell op is equal to tp and now if we apply a simple maths shift the tp towards the left side so when we will be shifting the tp towards the left side it becomes op minus tp is equal to 0 substitute the value op minus tp comes out to be zero because we know very well that in a turgid cell op minus tp is equal to zero so op minus tp is equal to zero hence the dpd is zero so we have to find out dpd is equal to 10 atm op 15 atm tp 5 atm 
DPD 5, OP 12, TP 7, DPD is equal to 2, OP is equal to 7 and TP is equal to 5 and DPD is equal to 0. Now the option number 4th is going on. Why? Because in a fully turgid cell we have calculated that the DPD is 0. DPD is 0. Okay. So okay. DPD is 0. OP is 15 and TP is 15. Means OP is equal to TP. Now we know very well that in a turgid cell OP is equal to TP. So OP is 15, TP is 15. Hence proven that it is correct. 15 ATM and 15 ATM. So the answer must be 4th. So the question number 3 is having the answer that is the 4th. Question number 3 is having the answer 4th. Okay. Now coming to the question number 4. The direction of the movement of the water is from low OP to high OP, from low DPD to high DPD, from high DP to low DP or all of the above. Now I am writing here that is the solution for the question number solution for the question number 4. See here when we are actually studying about the diffusion pressure and the osmotic pressure and the DPD you must know about some osmotic rules that is we have already studied that always the water moves from high DP this is the rule that movement of water occur from high dp to low dp means from high diffusion pressure water moves from low diffusion pressure now always remember from low op water move movement of water occur from low op to high op and one more thing water moves from low dpd to what movement of water occurs from low dpd to high dpd always remember high dp is of pure water low op is of pure water low dpd is of pure water low dp is of solution high op is of solution high dpd is of solution so we can say that the movement of the water from low op to high op from low dpd to high dpd from high dp to low dp and all of the above so answer will be four all of the above question number fourth is having the answer four Okay, and at the last three cells have A, B and C are joined together. These are the three cells A, B and C which are joined together in a linear fashion. Demonstrate the movement of water in the direction in these. So OP and TP is given. Now we know very well that DPD is equal to question number 5. This is the solution of question number 5. DPD is equal to OP minus TP. Okay, so cell A, cell A is having the DPD 50 minus 40, 10 Okay, cell B is having the DPD 40 minus 20, so that comes out with 20 and C, OP minus TP, cell B is having 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. We know very well that it is written here that water always moves from low DPD to high DPD. So the least is of C and then the A and then of the B. So it's damn sure that it must move from C to B. First of all, it must move from C to B and C here. A, B and C? No. From low DPD to we have to move to high. It's incorrect. From C, B and A? C, B and A? It is also not correct. Now, see the option number 3. From A to B? A to B? Low to high? C to B? Okay. Low to high? Correct. And see this option also. That is... From B to A, no, it is not possible. High DPD, water movement from high DPD to low DPD is not possible. So, option number third is going on. That water is moving from A to B, yes, from low to high and from C to B, from low to high. So, the answer is third. So, the question number fifth is having the answer third. So, dear student, these questions were based on the plant physiology. Keep watching my videos. We will be coming soon with few more videos based on the MCQs. Thanks a lot.